Now, the Historical Novel Society was actually founded in the UK 17 years ago in 1997. And it was initially conceived as a campaigning society, as a society that set out to raise the, pro you know, the profile of books that were set in the past because there was a very strong feeling that historical fiction was in the doldrums. Not much was being published, and publishers seemed to feel that not many people wanted it to be published. Um, the bestsellers list at that time were dominated by writers like John Grisham, Danielle Steele, Sidney Sheldon, Mary Higgins Clark, all of whom wrote stories set in contemporary times. And winners of the big literary prizes were nearly always also writers of contemporary fiction. So I'm talking about Ian McEwan, Carol Shields, Tim Winton, Martin Amos, writers like that. I actually remember 1997 very, very well because I was not published then. I was a writer that desperately wanted to be published and yet it seemed to me that no one was publishing the type of books that I wanted to write and that I liked to read. And I actually had great trouble finding books that I liked to read. I, thought, I began to think, what's wrong with me? I hate all these books that are being published. <laughs> I can remember in Australia at that time, the, the, uh, the publishing world was dominated by what was called lit grit or gritty realism, dirty realism. I didn't want to read dirty realism and I certainly didn't want to write it. Well, one of the very first things that the fledgling HNS did is set up a magazine to help to review and spotlight what little historical fiction was being published. And what they soon found was that to their amazement, there was this like underground movement of people who loved historical fiction, who were reading it, and people who were publishing it. They were nearly all small press publishers. And as the Historical Novel Society grew in its numbers and grew in strength, they ended up having two magazines. One to try and review every single book, every single historical novel published in the English language. And the other one to include, um, you know, industry reviews, interviews, spotlights and longer essays on, you know, subjects pertaining to historical fiction. What they found out was that there was this actually hunger in the market and the work that the Historical Novel Society did actually really helped historical fiction come back into the mainstream. It used to be enormously popular and the Wheel of Fortune had just taken it down and with the help of the Historical Novel Society, the Wheel of Fortune began to come up again, which enabled writers like me to get published. <laughs> I mean, that's, 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 that should be celebrated, shouldn't it? Now, can I tell you that I joined the Historical Novel Society as soon as I heard about it. And I, I get their magazines, and I sit down with a highlighter, and I highlight every single book that sounds good, which is just about every single book in the magazine. And then I do this massive internet shop, and then all these gorgeous books start arriving on my front doorstep. And I know, I now know that I never need to be without a book that I like to read. Now... Um, when my own first historical novel came out, which is called The Gypsy Crown, I actually used a proportion of my advance to travel to the US and attend the Historical Novel Society Conference in Chicago. I got to meet some of my all-time favourite writers. I was so starstruck. And I made so many friends at that conference. And those writers and those readers that I met in Chicago all those years ago are still amongst some of my very dearest writing friends. Um, I learned so much that day about historical fiction and about the industry, but what I also learned is I, I had found my tribe. I'd found a whole host of kindred spirits that like the same type of books that I do. And that is just such an invaluable gift. And so I hope that all of you here today will also find a whole host of new friends, new kindred spirits, and that you can have an enduring relationship with them and with the Historical Novel Society of Australasia.